This is nothing. Yeah, this is uh, like, you, you see that, you're prepared. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, Guatemala's real bad. Okay, we're gonna go in. You can always go in that. We're gonna shoot this real quick because we gotta get out of here. There's streets over here to the right of us that uh, very dangerous. A police officer just walked up on us with a with a shotgun, a loaded shotgun, and told us we le we better leave. When Revolution Max returns, we'll take you to Guatemala City into Zona Three, an area that they call the dumps. There's so much disease down here. All this and more when Revolution Max returns. Well, this is pretty dangerous. But we're going to have to get out of here. There's a lot of tension around us. London, Africa, Israel, Guatemala, New York. You're watching Revolution Max. Hey, this is Derek Joseph from Isaiah 6, and you're watching Revolution Max. Frank, tell me a little bit about uh, Zona 3, the dumps in Guatemala. Yeah, Zona 3 is, a, is an area of pain and suffering. It's a, it's a stronghold of, of the devil, Satan, uh, what he's done to God's creation. Uh, these people, they, they, they're born in a garbage dump, they're raised in a garbage dump, and they actually, uh, they, they're street people. They eat nothing but garbage. And, um, you know, we went there a few times and, and seeing what we can do, and we're in prayer about it. Yeah, they actually fight for over the bags of garbage. Now, anything beyond Zona 4, when you get into Zona 3, there's no police protection in there? No. Um, so you're basically on your own? You're on your own. Yeah, it's, it's very dangerous there. I mean, you know, people that, I mean, the, the crime, you know, the, the robbery, it's just like there's no law, there's no order. They actually don't really like you filming down here. They don't want to see what's what's going on with these people. They don't want anybody to see that, especially to the children. You can actually, in the atmosphere, you can, like I said earlier, you can you can feel the anger. You can feel the anger. You can feel the um, the pain of the, the heart of these people. Your, your security's like zero. There's zero security. Right. Yeah. That's there's yeah. There's none. So when we go in there, we're actually going in. You know, risking our lives, you know, but that's what we're supposed to do. That's what the gospel called us to do. So it looks like the, these are the dumps up here. Okay, we're going to go in. You can only go in that. We're going to shoot this real quick because we got to get out of here. There's streets over here to the right of us that are uh, very dangerous. Man, this is like hell on earth, Frank. Yeah. Could you imagine raising your wife and children in this? Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. That's one entrance to the, that's one entrance to it. There's one of the kids that live in the garbage dump right there. It's, this is dangerous all around here. I mean, it, and especially if you go inside the dump, that's where you really, you're in grave danger. I mean, they, you probably wouldn't come out. You know, I, there, there's buildings and facilities that, um, I believe that's in that area that we can take and, um, and turn into uh, ministry homes ministry houses and just have people just you know impacted right in there just you know changing these lives taking these people in there's so much disease down here this is the product of the garbage dump right here that's uh that's where he, he probably lives in the garbage dump they come out once in a while so that's pretty much the normal of uh, the people who live in the garbage dump 
it, this is very painful, very painful to see God's creation to, um, to have to come to this. The sad part about it is, is that we as believers, we're holders to the truth and the truth can set these people free. And, and we're really knocking on God's doors how to get this truth to these people and, and let them know that we're, that we're really serious for them and that uh, to bring them the love of God. These are God's people. He gave his only begotten son for this, for these people to be set free. At least give them an opportunity. The sad part about it is, is that, you know, as believers in Christ, we, we can make a difference and, and uh, we can clear out those vultures out of the sky over these people's lives. You know, those vultures to me, that represents the demons and the, and the activity of darkness that uh, hovers over our, our, our cities and communities. We want to reach that area, we really do. We want to impact them for Christ. Right. You know, it's sad because many missionaries have went in there and, and their years passed and made these people promises. That's why right now I don't even want to really talk to people down there. I'm still in prayer and, you know, on the outside looking in right now. To, I don't want to go in there and make these people promises that we can't keep. It's, this, is a, this is probably about a five-year planning or four-year planning that we need to um, really strategically plan battle plan on how we're going to change that. I don't want to go in there and just, you know, just make some promises and leave like everybody else has. It's one of the biggest reasons that they do not let you in there or down there anymore is because of the damage that the church people uh, created um, in the dump by going there making these people promises and not keeping them. But it's pretty sad because to them when you say church or Jesus, it puts a bad taste in their mouth because of um, all the damage that was done to them. I mean, you can imagine, I mean, here you are living in that garbage dump already, and you know, your children are dying, they're diseased, and, and misfortunes every day, and you gotta go fight for food. And, and then people come down and make you promises and you never see them again. You know, that's pretty sad. My, my heart is just like twisted right now. Thousand children stopped in death today, and every other second someone will die who never knew the way. Though billions say they love the Lord, they live today, and never testify that Christ has made a way.
I will go, I will go for you. Oh.